everybody, it's Julie. Welcome to another edition of Flower Friday. Today we're going to be working with a punch. Um, I've got this today at Hobby Lobby. Um, I'll have to zoom out in a minute. I'll show it to you in just a second. And I made both of these flowers with it. The same punch made two flowers. And you can also make, I'm sure, a couple other kind with this punch as well. So let me go ahead and zoom out a little bit and then we'll show you the actual punch. And punches are on sale this week at Hobby Lobby for 40% um, off. Okay, here is the punch. This is an EK Success punch. And it has two different petals. And then it also has a leaf and a flower center. So let me show you what you can make with it. If you look, I've made two different kinds of flowers. I've used the leaf uh, petal that it has as well. And then I've just used a pearl center. Let me get a little closer on that so you can see it. It's kind of hard to see with the lighting. There we go. That one looks that looks like you can see it there. And then let me turn it this way so you can see the dimension on it. And then there's this one here. And then this one is a little bit flatter. So let's get started. Let me show you how I made these. Okay, first things first, you need to punch out your shapes. Now, since I'm only going to be using the this particular petal here and the leaf I'm going to try and not waste paper and I'm going to try and maneuver it so um, I can get just those cuts and then it punches really easy these are really nice punches and what you're going to need is you're going to need six of the uh, this petal here and then you'll need four of the leaves um, so if you can just punch this part of the petal with the, the scrap of paper that you have that's good too and this flower is perfect for using up your scraps and we all know how many scraps we have so absolutely use your scraps on this you won't find a better way to get rid of them and it takes very little so even if you save just your little pieces you'll have um, plenty of scrap to make these flowers okay so what I've done is I went ahead prior to the video and I went ahead and I colored my three um, flower petals now, what I used was this uh, Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist, and this was just in one of those sets that you can buy, and this is the Turquoise Blue. Okay, with this particular flower, we're going to be making this one, okay? You don't necessarily have to cover both sides of your petal, because we're going to be turning the petals under, but if you want to, you can. What you're going to need to do first is you're going to need to take your scissors and you're going to need to cut a slit just like if you were going to be making a tattered a Tim Holtz tattered rose or a grunge flower you would need to cut a slit right to the middle okay and then on the next one we're going to go ahead and cut that slit right to the middle again and then we're going to cut out a petal okay and you don't need to keep that petal in the grunge rose you keep that petal but we're not going to keep it this time okay and then on the final um, set of our final th petal you're going to cut out two. Okay, really easy, super simple. Now, what you need to do, and this is going to just break the fibers up in the paper a little bit, make it a little more moldable, is I like to take my Fiskars um, embossing tool and I like to just press in the center, press all the way around. This lifts the petals up, gives you that little bit of curve that you want, and it also makes it a little more, more moldable and that's what you want. Did everybody watch the royal wedding today? I did not. I decided that I better get my grocery shopping done today or I wasn't going to have any food for next week and then the troops here would not be very happy. I did go back and watch um, a little bit of the video just when they come out on the balcony and they kiss and Personally, I thought her dress was gorgeous. Uh, I know I talked to another friend today and she thought it wasn't so gorgeous, but I thought her dress was absolutely gorgeous. And I like the simpler look. And then I also thought her sister's dress was gorgeous. That was a great looking um, maid of honor dress, I thought. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we've got, this is our first one that we just cut the slit down, okay? We're going to go ahead and we're just going to fold that over so that we form a cup shape with the flower, okay? What I like to do is I like to cut off this petal, leave enough to glue, 
but cut it off. That way when you go and fold your flower over, you're not folding over two pieces of, or two widths of fabric. So I'm just going to use a little bit of hot glue. Use your quick dry if you want. See how that gives a nice cup shape to this flower? Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead with the one that we cut the one petal off. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to cut that tip off just a little bit. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and fold over. And then I'm going to glue. And that gives even more of a, cu a cup shape. Okay, and then on this next one, we'll do the same thing. We'll cut that little piece off right there. Doesn't have to be perfect. Give it a little dot of glue and fold this bad boy over. And this guy's going to have a nice cupped center. See how that's like a, just looks like a little cone. Okay, so now, now that we've got that done, we're going to shape our petals. Okay, now this is really easy. Okay, and I'm probably going to fast forward through this because once you see it once, you'll know what I'm talking about. You're going to take your paper piercer or your skewer, something really thin. Okay, because these are small petals. And you're just going to fold this over and roll it down. Okay, fold it over and roll it down. Okay, so I'll probably... Okay, so now we've got all three of our petals turned down. Now we're going to assemble our flower. I'm going to put a little dot of hot glue right there in the middle. Okay, and we're going to take our next petal. And I like to just, oops, I had a little string of glue. Oh, and I dropped my other one. Hold on just one second. I have to take that little bit of glue out of there I just put in there. Weren't quite ready for it yet. I forgot to show you a step. Okay, so see how this has a little point here on the end? I like to just stick my finger in here and then just press down. And what's going to happen is that bottom part is going to become flat. Okay? And then it's going to make so your flower lays a little bit more level. And I forgot to fold over this petal here. Okay. So now I'm going to put my glue in the center. And I'm going to take my other petal and I'm going to offset, okay, because you want this to be as full as it can be, and I'm just going to push that down. And I know that this doesn't look very pretty right there, but you're not going to see that in a minute. And I just like to separate these just a little bit, okay? And then with this one, since it's really pointy, you can see that, I'm going to cut that end off, okay? Just like that. Now I'm going to put my little dollop of glue in the center again. Oops, sorry about moving the camera there. Okay, and then I'm going to offset the petals again. And then just hold that down for a second. Let's see, let me get that guy to stick. Okay. These little strings of glue, I tell ya. Okay, so now we've got our little flower, and we're going to finish that off with a small pearl in the middle. And I've just got a little collection of pearls here. You know what, I think I'm going to try this little pink one. Let's see how that looks in there. I think that'll look pretty. I'm going to take my pearl, and I'm going to put just a little dollop of hot glue down in the center, or right on the center. And then I'm just going to drop that right in, maybe. Okay. And get that level. Okay, so now we've got our little small petaled flower. And this is just kind of like a whimsical look. Okay, and now let's attach our leaves. So what I did beforehand, um, before I started making this video, I cut two of the petals for the leaves out. And I colored them in with peeled paint distress ink by Tim Holtz. And then I folded them in half so they had a little bit of dimension. And now all I'm going to do is stick them on the back of the flower. So let's go ahead and put a little dollop of glue there. And we'll put our fat side of the petal in. That'll be on the flower. Okay, so that the thin side, the skinny side, points out. And we'll do that again. And 
there we go. So now we have a small petal flower. All right, I'll be right back with the second flower.